So I know from working for Russell Brunson for 18 months that he struggles to explain what a funnel is in a short, in a short sentence. This has been like, this has vexed him uh, for the five years that he's been in business. This is the most simple definition I can give as a, of a funnel, which is it's a series of messages delivered in a specific order with the idea to capture a lead and make a sale. And the reason I say messages is because there are funnels in real life. Like you go into a, you know, you drive down the street and you see a billboard that says, you know, this way to the grocery store. And then you get to the grocery store and there's a sign and then you go in and there's a sign for the sale and then there's a sign at the checkout. And so it, a funnel is literally just a series of messages, whether they're real life messages, online messages, digital messages, whatever they happen to be delivered in a specific order with the idea to get someone interested and then sell them something. And that's it. That's all the funnel is. Messages for us, for online marketers, most often are in the form of a web page, right? We can deliver a message on a web page. We can do that with words. We can do that with images. We can do that with video. Okay. Emails, another form of a message, right? We write emails. We add links to those emails. We add images to those emails. We add video. Uh, lately we have bots, right? Facebook ad, uh, Facebook bots or text messaging, copy video links, same thing. And we also use messages in our social content, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, yada, yada, yada. Right. And a lot of people forget that the social media content that you put out online is a part of your funnel. Because if you use the working definition that it is a series of messages delivered in a specific order, to eventually get a sale, you've got the message, like let's say it's your Instagram post, right? And you write an Instagram post and you say, you know, whatever, your gardening series is going great and you show your big juicy red tomatoes and then you say, hey, if you're interested, click the link in my bio. That message on Instagram is the start of your funnel. The link in the bio is the, the next message. That clicks, that goes over to a lead magnet, right? That goes over to a web page where there's copy and maybe you can put your name and email in. You submit it. The next page offers you an ebook on how to, you know, grow juicy red tomatoes. That entire process was a funnel, which means that when you are building funnels, you are often going to use different platforms. You're going to be on Facebook, on Instagram, using text, using email, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, ClickFunnels, Kajabi, Kartra, WordPress, like it's a, a conglomeration of tools that you use to deliver these messages in a specific order. Okay. So that is the working definition we're going to work with for the rest of the class. Before, um, this is, you know, one of these like principled uh, truths that I want to explain to people because once people start to geek out on funnels, they try to make it as complicated as possible, thinking that the more segmentation there is, the more like drill down that they can get to, you know, targeting the person who watched the first five minutes of their class, but not the last, whatever, 30 minutes. And they create Franken funnels, super complicated, really difficult. And your funnel needs to be as simple as possible and still achieve the goal, right? And you, this is the, where we're going to go next is that every funnel has a goal. Okay. Um, so if you know the goal, then you can know what is the simplest possible funnel that I can create that will still achieve the goal. Do not create a complicated funnel just for the cool factor. It's a really big and common mistake. So this is one of those things that I feel like People forget that every funnel has a specific goal. So these are the four most common goals that funnels have, although there are other ones that you can use as well. Number one, to capture a lead. That is the most basic thing that a funnel can do, which is grab somebody's contact information, right? Capture a lead. List building funnels are funnels that usually gather name, email, and sometimes phone number, okay? That's the first goal. The second goal of a funnel is to purchase a product, a traditional sales funnel that you know about, right? Like they opt in, they give you your email address, and then they end up um, paying whatever, seven, 27, $37 for something, and on and on it goes. The third goal 
for a funnel would be to register for a class or an event. Now, ultimately, the, go the funnels that are goal-oriented for registering also want to sell something. But when you're building the funnel, the goal of the funnel at first is really just to get them to register for whatever event or presentation you're going to do. And then the presentation's goal is to make the sale. Okay. So there's a little bit, there's like two steps in that one. And then the fourth one is to build rapport, um, build trust, nurture people. And a lot of people, when they use the word funnel, they're literally just talking about a series of emails because there are email funnels and we'll talk about those. And those are really just messages that take people on a journey to the next spot in your, in your business, whatever it is you want to sell next.